What is Men's Shed? Um. Uh, Megan, what do you think a Men's Shed is? Um, I'm not really sure. What do you think a Men's Shed is? Um, a place where men can go and do shed-like things. Uh, who meet up once a week and build some stuff, I think. Interact with people and maybe make some new friends. Uh, what do you think a men's shed is? Uh, well, I presume it's a local charity, um, but where, where men sort of go to a, go to a shed, I presume. What are you expecting to see at Men's Shed? Uh, not really some sure. men. Yeah, just some men making friends. friends. Yeah. Uh, who goes to a Men's Shed? Um, I reckon men. I think it offers like a place for people to talk and they also get to share their skills and sometimes build stuff. In 2017, there were almost 6,000 suicides in Great Britain. Uh, how many of them uh, were men? Probably 50%? Yeah, 75%. 75%? Oh my God. What's 75% of 6,000? 4,500. I'm not allowed to swear, are we? I would say that everyone of our sort of age has yeah. got issues that they that, that just getting out of home and doing stuff will help. Yeah. Um, you know, keeping physically active, uh, mentally active, learning stuff. Mm -hmm. Would it be appropriate, my very nosy, if you want to tell them how old you are? Or would you rather not? 87. <laughs> Does it help you, like, make friends? Oh, yeah. Good Lord, yeah. Um, I mean, my wife was pleased to get me out of the house, as we were just saying. But, yeah, by the same token, this is, this is wrong, I suppose. This is my escape. Well, we don't like to talk about things like depression because men don't suffer from it, do they? Stress and anxiety. Yeah. We don't have any of those things. So, yeah, so uh, how long have you been coming to Men's Shed? Well, we started, I was one of the first people um, to go to our first, uh, to our first meeting. Um, a guy called Tony Roanbird uh, put an ad in the paper and said he was interested in this. And I'd heard of it around, actually, two or three, four years ago. I'd also visited Halesworth Shed because I was interested in the idea. Um, and so I went to the first meeting, which was in August of last year, yeah. and we've built from there, really. Our initial fear was that we'd be, spend all our time meeting in the library and never get anywhere with uh, you know any practical projects or anything. I'm 68, and my short-term memory has been going in a little, you know, a little over the last 15 years, and I've been aware of that. You can feel decay, feel your, uh, you know, oh my dear, where did, you know, all that. I woke up this morning and I felt hair on my head. I think my hair's growing. Is that normal? A little bit of fluff. It's good, isn't it? We're not that good. We don't rejuvenate. It's all right. It's all right for some. <laughs> and it's not always friendly banter. I mean, we have our moments now. Oh, yeah. We disagree and do those type things, but that's what we do. But yeah. water under the bridge. That's it. People don't go to the doctor, but they, we have found that they will talk about it here to yeah. see if someone else has had the same problem, yeah. whatever it might be. Yeah, yeah it, it's, it's good. It's a release. Just to show you what a mix of people we have here, what did you do as a career, Steve? I was a civil servant. Civil servant. Bob, you were? An engraver. An engraver. I was a psychiatric charge nurse. I was a teacher. Ian was a teacher, professional carpenter. Yeah. So a real diverse mix of people. Yeah. That's brilliant. We've got so much money we don't know what to do with it. Yeah. <laughs> it's difficult for us because um, we call ourselves men's shed. Uh, well, men's shed, can't women come as well? Yes they can, certainly. There are a thousand reasons in everyone for for anything really, doesn't much matter what, uh, but men's shed certainly suits someone who you know who is practical, likes making stuff. But you feel better since you've been here? Yeah. yeah. So Megan, who goes to a men's shed? Um, well, we met people on a more personal basis and a lot of people who like are now widowed, unfortunately. So for example, we all met a man called Paul and he lives alone. Um, and if he can't go to men's shed, like if he's poorly or something, they'll ring up and ask him how he is and 
and like sometimes I'll go visit him to like an extra step of friendship and also we met like a man called Peter who was just a laugh like he only goes part time and like Ian was the one who we saw and like his wife's got dementia and he's her carer has been for many years and, like they said it's their escape which they didn't want to use do word but it essentially is like they just all make friends and it's like a new level of friendship they've all made it's lovely I thought it was going to be quite sad in a way because everybody I assumed would be like a widower and talking about how sad they were but honestly I've never laughed so much in an hour like they were all so funny and it was just so happy and everyone was sharing skills and they were so happy to talk to us and what's the same <laughs> oh you're joking <laughs> I thought you were winding me up well, I thought you were talking posh <laughs> 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 tea time lads yeah.